Hi, I'm Angela Howard, and I'm excited to be back as the host of ION. Well, being in July means that we are in the throes of summer, a time when many people hit the open road with family and friends. It also makes this the perfect time for us to highlight one of our signature products, the Reese Sidewinder. The Reese Sidewinder, an elite airborne sidewinder, enhancing maneuverability and comfort when towing your fifth wheel trailer. The Sidewinder moves the trailer's pivot point 22 inches rearward, eliminating the need for a slider and allowing for 90 degree plus turns with most tow vehicle and trailer combinations. Ask for the Reese Sidewinder today and take each turn with ease. The video you just saw is one of many that Horizon Global has available. All of them meant to educate our viewers on what products the company offers, how they work, and how they're installed. Speaking of installations, our next video highlights the bed of the truck with a quick install brackets and fifth wheel rail kit installation video. Welcome. Today we'll be installing the Reese 50142-58 fifth wheel custom quick install mounting bracket kit with included fifth wheel mounting rails into a 2015 Ram 1500 with a 5 foot 7 inch bed equipped with an air ride suspension. To ensure a quick quality installation, be sure to check all the parts against the parts list included with the instructions. This will also help to familiarize yourself with the parts in the kit. During this installation, we will be using the following tools. This video shows the custom quick install bracket being installed on the driver's side of the vehicle. Repeat the same installation steps with the custom install bracket and rails on the passenger side of the vehicle. For the sake of the video, we will lower the spare tire. This will also provide more room while installing the kit. Begin the installation by removing the plastic inner fender liner located in the rear wheel wells. We are now ready to measure where the rails will be located in the bed of the truck. Place the rearward mounting rail in the bed of the vehicle and center it from left to right on the floor of the truck bed. For this 5 foot 7 inch bed, we will measure 28 and 15 16 inches from the rear edge of the truck bed to the rear of the rail. For trucks with an 8 foot bed, please refer to the provided installation manual for proper measurements. Using the rail as a guide, mark and center punch the 5 holes for the rail. Before drilling of the bed, Check underneath the truck for any potential risks to the vehicle's components, such as brake lines and fuel tanks. Back on top of the bed, move the rail out of the way and drill each pilot hole with a 1 8 drill bit. To check for correct hole alignment, we will need to temporarily position the Reese Custom Quick Install C-Channel above the vehicle frame crossmember. Working underneath the truck, lower the vehicle's exhaust. If the truck has a dual exhaust, Unbolt the driver's side exhaust hanger from the crossmember and temporarily remove. Next, temporarily remove the plastic clips holding the wiring harness to the top of the vehicle frame crossmember. Disconnect the electrical connectors from both ends of this harness section and move it out of the way. The rear differential breather tube will also need to be temporarily removed from the vehicle frame crossmember and shock mount. Place the C-channel to the vehicle frame crossmember and center it from left to right, making sure that the pilot holes align with the slots in the C-channel. Once alignment of the holes has been confirmed, enlarge the pilot holes to 9 16 of an inch. Loosely fasten the C-channel to the vehicle frame crossmember using the 5 8 hex bolts, flat and serrated washers, and hex nuts, making sure to bolt up through the vehicle frame crossmember. Reposition the rear mounting rail over the holes in the bed of the truck and install it to the C-channel using the half-inch hex bolts and nut handles, making sure to use the U-shaped spacer plates between the C-channel or mounting rails and the truck bed to ensure metal-to-metal -metal contact. Snugly tighten to keep the rail from moving in the bed of the truck. If the vehicle has a dual exhaust, reattach the exhaust hanger that was removed earlier in the installation. Now it's time to position the second mounting rail in the truck bed. We will do this by taking the fifth wheel legs assembled to the crossmember and placing them into the already mounted rail. Position the forward mounting rail so that the tabs on the legs of the fifth wheel hitch insert into the fifth wheel mounting slots. Once the legs are positioned, push the forward mounting rail toward the rear mounting rail while making sure it is centered on the bed of the vehicle. 
This will position the rail in the correct location to ensure that the fifth wheel hitch will have a snug fit to the truck. Mark and center punch the five holes in the forward rail, then move the rail out of the way to drill the holes. Now it is time to mount the custom quick install frame brackets. Use the supplied pole wire to pull the half inch carriage bolts and quarter inch by one inch by two inch square hole plates through the pre-drilled holes on the truck frame. For the bottom bolt, thread a quarter inch by one and a half inch by two inch plate through the bottom pole wire and place to the frame through the bolt. Next, thread a quarter inch by one and a half inch by three inch plate through the top pole wire and also place it to the frame through the bolt. Locate the driver's side bracket, indicated by the edge protector on its curved section. Thread the pole wire holding the carriage bolts and plates through the back of the bolt holes on the quick install bracket. Pull the bolts through the bracket as you place the bracket to the frame ahead of the hat section that supports the bed. Make sure the bracket edge protector faces the fuel fill hose. Using half inch hex nuts and serrated washers, attach the mounting bracket to the truck's frame. Repeat these steps to attach the custom quick install bracket to the frame on the passenger side of the vehicle. Move the rail back into position and install it to the mounting brackets using the half inch fastening hardware. Make one final check using diagonal measurements to ensure the rails are square to each other. Now you are ready to tighten all of the hardware to final torque specifications. Starting with the hex bolts that fasten the rails to the mounting brackets through the truck bed, torque all bolts to 75 foot-pounds. Move to the hex bolts positioned in the center of the rails and again torque to 75 foot-pounds. Next, torque the hex bolts fastening the C-channel to the truck frame to 150 foot-pounds. Lastly, Torque the fasteners that attach the frame brackets to the vehicle frame to 75 foot-pounds. To finish the install, reattach the wiring harness and the differential breather tube that were removed earlier. Put the spare tire back in place and reinstall the rear plastic inner fender liners. That will conclude the installation of the Reese 50142-58 fifth wheel custom quick install mounting bracket kit with included fifth wheel mounting rails. For more information on this and other great products from Reese, visit reeseproducts.com. Reese, pioneering performance. Finally today, I've been asked to share a few photos now that I am back from maternity leave. And like every other parent, I am happy to oblige. My husband Tom and I are blessed to have welcomed Annabelle and Camille into our family on February 22nd. The girls weighed in at 6 pounds 4 ounces and 6 pounds 13 ounces respectively. Over the last few months, the girls have grown in size and in personality, kicking, laughing, rolling, and smiling every day. They, along with their older brothers Xander and Gavin, are the best things in our lives, and they definitely make our family complete. Well, that's it for this episode of ION. As always, thanks for watching. <music> <laughs>